Hi, thank you for joining me. Um, this is a very, very quick video just to maybe um, explain to some of you um, why your grid square isn't showing up correctly in some login packages, especially if you're using qrz.com. So um, the problem has come out recently, um, to my knowledge, because I've been doing a bit more on HF, and when I'm doing stuff on HF, I tend to log the QSOs. Now, when I log a QSO, I use a piece of software called Log4OM, which I think is absolutely brilliant. And the reason why I like Log4OM is because um, instantly, as soon as you type the person's call sign in, um, it will give you them give their information that it pulls from sources like QRZ. Now, here, for instance, you can see that on my call sign, it knows that I am in Burton on Trent. No problem. It will also know stuff like what aerials I use, whatever information I tell it. The other thing that I really like about um, Log4OM is it will actually show you um, on a map where that person is. And I just like drilling down and just seeing whereabouts they are, just as a matter of curiosity or interest. However, there have been a number of QSOs recently where even though it says that the person might be in Burton-on-Trent, as far as the map's concerned, it says that they're in Fulham in London. So I looked into the problem and I've got the solution for you. Um, the problem isn't just a handful of, um, of QSOs that I've had recently. Um, it actually is a bit more widespread than that. So let's just show you here. Um, Italy Oscar 91 Victor Lima, there you go. So quite a lot of stations have, although they've filled in their information, their locator is still set as Fulham in Lon London. So anyway, this is the solution. It's dead simple. I'm not claiming to have reinvented the wheel or to have discovered a cure for whatever, um, but you may be interested. So here we are now in qrz.com. And um, I think when we set up an account in QRZ, we are primarily interested in just getting our facts and pictures up there quickly. So we fill in our name and address, an email address. Uh, we type a little bit of um, storyline about who we are and how long we've been in the hobby and what we're into. And then we put a few photos of our shack and our aerials and everything looks great. And at that, we kind of click save and never go back there again. However, it's this next one down that we need to be concentrating on. And this is the bit that I missed for about a year and I could never understand what the problem was. So if you click here, by default, I think QRZ gives us Italy Oscar 91 Victor Lima. Don't know why, but there you go. So literally, if we change that to our own locator, straight away, it knows now that that square is Burton on Trent. I can click and drag this pointer anywhere I want to be more precise for instance if I want to drop it right there for instance that's fine or I don't have to whatever click save so now now that I've done that when I go back to log for OM rather than being in London let's just put my call sign in again it now knows I'm in Burton on Trent there you go. It hasn't changed my address, only my locator. So there you go. I said it wasn't rocket science and I said I wasn't going to reinvent the wheel. Hopefully it's helped a few of you. Um, but there you go. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to um, subscribe. Maybe put some comments down below. Um, and maybe even you'd like to watch a few more of the videos, which there'll be some links coming up shortly. Okay, for now, um, thanks for watching. Stay safe, 7-3. Bye-bye.